Hi, and welcome to a new devlog. If you are new around here, I'm creating a story-driven open-world survival game called Restore, which now, four devlogs later, I realize is a stupid name, cause every time you search for Restore, Google jumps and says, hmm, maybe you meant Restore with a single T. No, Google, f off. Anyway, previously I created a map and a character, and today I'm going to try to create the first system of the game the inventory, but I have no coding experience, so this should go really bad. Let's go! Ok, let's get serious. Inventories are the basis of many games. Crafting, building, equipment, everything depends on the inventory. As far as I know, there are two types of inventories. Weight-based inventories and slot-based inventories. Personally, I hate weight-based inventories. They are very messy, they always seem to fill up too fast, and on top of that you have the extra task of giving away to each item. And there is always that smartest guy who is like, hmm, an apple weighs 2 while an iron sword weighs 5, which doesn't scale proportionally- Dude, shut up, nobody cares. So yes, my game will have a slot-based inventory. But how the hell do inventories work in video games anyway? There are several ways to create an inventory. Personally, I chose to use an array. An array is a collection where you can sort data of a specific type, in my case items, and each one of these items is an object that contains many useful properties such as the name, the description, and the thumbnail. Each of the positions of the array has a specific index that works as a unique identifier to access the item that is stored. So, for example, if the array has 10 slots, we can have a unique item in each one of those 10 slots. I don't know if I explained it well, but you will understand how it works later on. I launched Unreal and started by creating the items. As the game is going to have a lot of them, I first created a struct that defines the properties of each item and decided to use a data table to store all the information I need in a single place. This way, adding, deleting, or editing items can be done from this one place. But those are just data and don't do anything at the moment, so to represent the item, I created an actor. This actor represents an empty item and takes one input value, a name, which is used during the construction of this actor to retrieve information from the data table and automatically creates the item we actually want. This way, adding an object to the world is as easy as creating an instance of this base actor, changing the name value and letting the magic happen. We already have items, now let's do the inventory. I decided to do all the inventory logic inside an actor component. This actor component is a component that can be included to other actors, which makes it reusable and will be very useful later in the video. As I told you before, the inventory itself is an array, so I created one using as data type the struct that I had created earlier. I also created two very basic functions, one to add items to the inventory and one to remove them. I did a quick test adding and removing some hard-coded items and, I'm not gonna lie, I felt like a god. Look at that. Beautiful. But why am I adding fake items if I already have real items in the world? Nah, let's fix that. To pick up the items in the world, I'm casting a ray that is only allowed to collide with inventory items. This ray cast provides useful information of the objects it collides with, so I made that if you are looking at some item and press the E key, this item is added to the inventory using this function I created before. This function takes as input the value of the name of the object, which is obtained from the information provided by the raycast, and is responsible for adding the object to the inventory array or reject it if the inventory is full. In fact, I used two methods, casting array and casting a sphere in front of the character. This way, even if you are not looking directly at the item, you can still grab it. This is all good, but I need some way to visualize the inventory, so I better make a UI, which I think it should be easy. <laughs> First, I need a design. I opened Figma and after a while familiarizing myself with the app, I managed to make this absolutely disgusting UI design that looks ripped off from a bad mobile game. I felt defeated, but after some brainstorming with the homies on Discord, you know by the way, link in the description, I came up with this new design that is still bad, but a bit less, and that's good enough for me. With the design clear in mind, then I started to replicate it in Unreal. UIs in Unreal are made using a tool called UMG, which is short for I Wanna Die. 
I managed to make this that you are seeing now. It looks kind of nice, but let me explain you how it works. Each inventory slot is a widget, which goes inside the inventory widget, which goes inside the menu widget, which is created inside an actual component, which is included inside the character, and during all this process I'm passing data between all these elements. My inventory implementation was completely broken. I felt like my head was about to explode. To make it worse, during this time my full-time job was getting intense. I didn't have much time to work on the game and I was coming home too tired to focus on finding better solutions. I fell deep into a pit of despair. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Maybe this is too hard for me. Maybe... Maybe I'm not ready for this. That's what a little bit would say. I took a couple of days off and with a fresh mind I sat down in front of the PC, put on a monster cap playlist in the background and tackled the inventory once again. After countless hours, 752 cups of coffee and a full evening of crying under the shower, I managed to fix most of the bugs and this is what we have now. We can click on items and see descriptions, add new items, move items around, split stacks of items, recombine them and drop them. You see how many games have an inventory and it seems like such a basic thing that you imagine it must be easy to do. Well, it isn't. You have to take into account a lot of different possibilities. What happens if you move an item to an empty slot? What happens if you swap two items of different types? What if you recombine items but the amount exceeds the maximum amount? The result to all these questions and many more is the spaghetti you see here. It wasn't easy but I did it. I also created external storage objects such as chests, barrels, crates and many more. Remember when I told you that creating the inventory in an actor component would be useful? This is why. For these chests, I created a new actor and added the inventory actor component to it. Added some extra logic and that's it. No visuals for the moment, but it works. Mm, more or less. There are still some bugs to fix. In the same way, I also created a bar for quick access to some items. It doesn't have the extra functionality of a hot bar, but the base is there. Inventory checked. But in this month, I not only made progress on the game, I also took some time to create a Discord server, which actually took me more time than I'm willing to admit. So join in, leave your suggestions, show us what you're working on, or just come hang out. The link will be in the description. I'm also proud to announce that I teamed up with Jonathan Oster, who is a talented composer and will be taking care of the soundtrack for the game. In fact, he already composed two test songs that are available on SoundCloud, and will be working on new songs in the future, so follow him to stay updated. As for me, I still have to fix all this mess I made while working on the inventory. This… this is wrong. Don't do this, guys. So subscribe if you want to see how I suffer while making my game in future videos, and let me know in the comments what I can improve in the inventory. Peace!